All right, guys, it's a sad day. So I have tons of emails and I actually got an email that I didn't want to see. But here's a situation where I think ZTE probably should just do their own thing. And I know crowdfunding or, you know, the, the Kickstarters are a way that people do things. But ZTE, if you would, just go ahead and release this phone for the $200 price point because it is definitely well worth it. Now the $500,000 that they were trying to reach, they only got like 36,000. So they didn't get a lot of backers. I was one of the backers. They only got 190 backers for this project. And uh, when I got the email today saying that it was closed, you know, they've canceled it because the people in the Z community or some of the people in the Z community and, and folks that were in on the Kickstarter decided that wasn't enough and that they wanted something different. Well, when you think about it, um, the idea, the concept that they had, and all they were asking was $200 for this, that phone definitely fit in today's market. Um, it had a Snapdragon 625, it had a 5.5 inch 1080p display, um, and that 6 625 was clocked at two, two gigahertz, uh, three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs on board, uh, eight megapixel on the front, and a 13 and a 12 on the rear. I don't understand how, and it also had the five gigahertz band, I don't understand you know, why some people thought that was so bad. Um, sometimes as techies, or if the world decides to let techies run everything, we won't ever get what we want. Uh, and we won't ever get some great products. Now that phone in fact was a really, not, I was one of the backers. Um, uh, now my thoughts on that is, Everyone was saying, oh, you're releasing the wrong product in 2017. It should have an 835. It should have a quad issue display. Listen, ZTE, if you're listening, I don't know if you're going to watch this video, but release that phone anyway at $200 and watch it sell. The specs that are on that phone are right in line with today's mid-range mid -range devices that are being released. Now, this in no way is a rant video. It's just my opinion about them closing, you know, the, the starting with a Kickstarter uh, and then canceling because you didn't meet the numbers. All right, so that happened. We're, we're past that already. But for what that phone was offering for that price point, it was a fantastic phone. I mean, 5.5 inches, 1080p, 1080p uh, and it had the eye tracking software. I mean, some of the things that were in there, I granted, I probably would not use the eye tracking thing myself personally, but just that package alone, why can't you release that package at 200 bucks? It definitely would sell better than a lot of other phones that are out there that are unlocked. 1080p, 5.5 inch display, a Snapdragon 625, that is a tried and true processor. And I guarantee you that the battery life would have been pretty good on there. You know, it was unlocked. It was a great looking phone. You know, it's just, it's just sad that it didn't work out for ZTE. Uh, but the fact is, I think they should still release that phone. I think you, it would do pretty good. I think it would do well. Look at how well the Blade V8 Pro is doing. Look at how well the Z Max Pro is doing. You know, it's got USB Type-C. It's got all these features. And just the five gigahertz band alone on Wi-Fi was exciting enough for me. It's unfortunate that that phone, um, you know, didn't get funded because uh, Kickstarters are kind of tough, you know, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. I think, though, personally, uh, ZTE, you need to go ahead and, and uh, release that phone. You need to release that phone because the specs that you had in there, um, I don't remember what the battery was. I don't remember if they said what the battery was. Oh, 3000. That phone right there will be a great competitor in today's market. You don't have to have a Snapdragon 835 or a Snapdragon 821. You don't have to have a quad HD display. Release that phone ZTE. And if you release it at 200 bucks, yeah, you've got the Blade V8 Pro, which is a heavy hitter too. That just means that you'll have a great lineup of mid-range phones. You know, sometimes you have to just go out and do it. Look at Samsung. They released the Note line and everybody said it was a joke and then it took off. They started that era of big phones. No one can deny them that. Now everything is being called a phablet when it's not a phablet. You know, I think Samsung is the best at the, at the Note series or those type of devices. You, ZTE, release this phone. Release it for $199. Just make them and release them. Take a chance. It will sell. It's going to sell. If you are going to sell it for $200, it's, that means it's not going to cost you a lot to make it. You will make some profit off of it. Take a chance, release the phone, 
and let the public decide. Because right now, what happened with Hawkeye, basically all the techies on the internet trashed it pretty much. And then they just said, oh, we knew it was gonna be a failure. People started talking down it. And unfortunately, there are a lot of followers online and, and, and people who get on the internet and hide behind their screens. There are a lot of those people out there. Do not let the public or just those small people who even knew about Hawkeye, because there were backers. I mean, ouch, you only made 36,000 out of your 500,000. I was one of those $36,000 uh, $36, people that were in there. I was one of those people in there to put my money up. Um, so to hear that it's canceled, it's kind of a letdown because, uh, well, I, shouldn't, I, I guess it's let down a hard word. It's kind of disappointing, you know, because I felt like that phone was really going to be nice, man. And again, I probably wasn't going to use the eye tracking. I would have tested it out for demo purposes or something like that. But that wasn't going to be my primary focus of that phone. The specs on that phone are really, really good. If you call yourself a techie and you're sitting in your office and all you want to review is phones that are uh, Snapdragon 821s and 835s or above, you should rethink your way of thinking as calling yourself a techie. Because a techie is going to review all ends of, of devices, whether it's a flip phone or a phone that costs a thousand bucks. You should, if, you're, if you are a tech enthusiast, you, you should always be fighting for the consumers because we can control the market. So ZTE, if you're listening, release this phone, man. I'm going to be the first in line to buy it. And it's not that I'm getting paid by ZTE to say this. I'm tired of people saying, oh, you're being paid by ZTE. Listen, I like technology and I like all kinds of technology. This phone was a great idea. And for 200 bucks, it was a fantastic idea. Look at how well the Blade V8 Pro is doing. Release this phone, ZTE. Release it. You'll thank yourselves. So what the Kickstarter didn't go through? Hey, sell us ours. Don't, don't give me my money back. Ship my phone off for my 200 bucks. I'll take it. I'll take it. So I want my phone ZTE. Send me my phone for my 200 bucks and uh, you can have my money and I'll take it. So ZTE, I'm challenging you to release this phone. It's okay to Kickstarter drop, they flopped, okay, so what? Release the phone and let us decide whether or not it's good or not. Because I think just based on those specs, that's a fantastic phone you got. I hope you guys are watching. Anybody else feel the same way? Leave a comment. Take care. It was kind of a rant. <laughs>